Greetings from Narana Health. Myself, Dr. Hiramat Sagar, working as pediatric intensivist and concentrated pediatrician at Majumdar Shah Medical Center, Narana Health City, Bangalore. Today, I would like to talk to you about febrile convulsions. So, what is febrile convulsions? So, it is a condition which is usually seen in children between 6 months to 6 years of age. So, here what happens is when a child has fever, especially high grade fever, he can throw a seizure or convulsion or fits. So, this is called as febrile convulsion. It is quite common in children. The incidence ranges from maybe from 1 or 2 percent to up to 10 percent depending upon the population. And uh, fortunately, it is a very benign disease. And most of the children outgrow this condition by 6 years of age. So, what happens in febrile convulsions? So, what happens is, so when your child gets fever and because of this fever, there will be some abnormal electrical discharges happening in the brain. As you know, all of us have some electrical activity in the brain. And when this fever happens, this electrical activity becomes further abnormal, leading the child to throw a convulsion. And uh, this is usually a short lasting event, usually lasts less than 5 minutes. And uh, after that 5 minutes, the child will be drowsy for a few minutes again, 5 or 10 minutes and then he will wake up and become normal. And most of the children will have only one or two episodes of these febrile convulsions. Very rarely they have more than that. And usually the convulsions happen uh, in both the limbs, uh, upper limb and lower limb. They may be having some up, uh, uprolling of eyes, there may be some twitching of the uh, angle of the mouth, some salivation, some micturation, passing of the motion and all. But most of them are uh, involve both the upper limbs and lower limbs and, and uh, eyes. And it is usually short lasting. Okay. And what is the first aid that a parent can do? So, in case a child is throwing a seizure, so you need to make your child lie down on one side. Usually, on the right lateral position we say but in the tensed moment you will not be able to possible to do that whatever side if you can make the child roll on that should be fine on one side it should be on and do not put anything in the mouth like putting fingers or a handkerchief or a cloth or etc don't put anything in the mouth because it can injure the child also no need to give any sharp instruments like keys or something on the hand because it is not going to stop the convulsion in fact if the convulsions are very violent that itself can injure the child so first aid would be make the child roll over to one side don't put anything in the mouth the other first aid that you can do is there is a midazolam nasal spray uh, you have to just discuss with your doctor about the dosage and how to use it so whenever the child is having seizure we can put this spray into the nose and then uh, usually we wait for two to three minutes and then we spray it and usually seizures get control in case the seizure doesn't get control despite the nasal spray then you will have to take your child to the nearest hospital for the uh, iv injection and stopping of the convulsion and usually febrile convulsion is a benign disease as i said and most of these children will not need any uh, brain scanning or eeg your doctor may suggest MRI and EEG only in case he is suspicion of uh, any other illness in the child. This doesn't have any long term effect that is uh, your child need not be put on any continuous medications or don't think that uh, your child will have epilepsy or a seizure disorder when he goes into the when he grows up. So only 1% chance is there that your child may continue to have seizures but 99% of them will stop by 6 years of age. Okay. So this is about febrile convulsions in children which is a self-limiting disorder. Don't need to panic and usually the children do good. It doesn't have any effect on the development or education or any other future thing. Thank you.